Well, we're getting an unbelievable new glimpse tonight at what the Waverly flooding looked like, just how fast the water moved in and changed the situation from bad to worse. Tonight, we're speaking with a Waverly man who lost his home, but says neighbors saved his life and his family's. As News Channel 5's Jason Lamb shows us, all the while the cameras on his home were rolling. This is video that may be hard for some people to watch. It shows the sheer power of the floodwaters that washed over Waverly. The video comes from the home surveillance camera of Michael Phillips. We'll let him walk you through it. What was it like for you looking at that video for the first time? Well, looking back, you know, I was telling people that, you know, literally it, it seemed like water went from nothing to several feet of water in my house in a matter of, you know, five to 10 minutes. And after I'm thinking about that and I'm going, Psh, it, well, it wasn't that fast, but actually seeing it it, it, it was that fast. By the time we got the kids up, which was a few minutes later, the water was already coming up over the porch and into the house, probably about a foot of water. and even with, you know, a couple of feet of water, when it, it's raging, you, you can't maneuver in it. The only other option was going up on the roof to safety. What are we looking at right now? That's my truck and the, and the neighbor's car. And my truck's going to hit this one house right here. It ended up in front of uh, this house here is a friend of mine. Uh, it ended up in his house. I think the main thing I think about is, you know, the lives that were lost. Um, I've, got, I've had two close cousins that, that perished in it. And I had a friend uh, that tried to save somebody else by jumping in and, and he drowned. And just, you know, why is the, is the main thing, is the main thing that I think about, you know, what, what caused this? Never seen anything like this before. What do you take away from all this? I just want everybody just to continue to with the prayers and the thoughts, especially for the people that lost loved ones. Um, it's it's going to be a process, but I, th I think we're going to get back to it to a good place, good place eventually. Michael, thank you so much for talking with us. No problem. I really appreciate it.